Today we're going to talk about how to install the TMC5160 on the Big Tree Tech GTR version 1.0. Now, as you can see right here, I have the TMC5160. So I need to show you something up close. So I'm going to zoom in here. And as you can see, on this actual chip, it says what type of connection you would use being spy it's just below center and it's that one zero ohm resistor with on the silk screen where you see spi for serial peripheral interface in the bottom left hand corner what you're going to see is the enable pin position as you can see that there are two unused pins over here. So what I'm going to do is show you how to set this up. And what we'll need to do is first check the website for this. So I'm going to go over and look at the wiki or excuse me, the <clears throat> excuse me, the GitHub page for Big Tree Tech for the GTR. So down here, you can see that they're talking about where the pins need to be assigned. So this whole box right here is for spy mode communication. So we're going to go back to the board now, and we're going to actually connect it after we verify the pins. So on the board, you can see that all the spy pins for X stepper. Are located right here and by the way the enable pin is located in the corner right here 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 and here for the steppers so I'm gonna pick the board up for the stepper and as you can see it's yellow on one side and black on the other so that gives a way that you're gonna match the black to the board and then apply a little bit of thumb pressure to connect it. Now I currently have it set to direct power. So I'm going to connect these real quick. And this will allow us to power our board while we're loading the firmware. But unfortunately, we're not going to be able to actually load our firmware directly. So we're going to have to do this through a port for a USB device. So the USB device is to my right. And by the way, I was able to purchase this on Amazon. And right now, no one's actually sponsoring me or paying me to do this tutorial. So the Amazon affiliate links will be a good way to offset the costs of me making this tutorial for you. So now that that's in position, I'm actually going to pop out the actual drive and connect it with this USB device that takes the SD drive. So I'm going to place it right here and I'll leave a link for this so you can find it. Then I'll place this in the computer and we'll go over to VS Code to set this up. So inside VS Code, what we want to do is we want to actually load our firmware. So I've already downloaded it and extracted it. So I'm going to go to the File Explorer, then open a folder. Then I'm going to go to my Downloads directory, my Marlin folder, then my second Marlin folder where I've unzipped it and say Select Folder. Inside here, it'll take a moment to load. And after it's loaded, what we need to do is we need to first go to source or then boards.h. Inside here, we're going to search on GTR. Underscore V and that'll bring us to the version of our board and we'll copy this. And then we'll close out of the core folder, the source folder, and go to configuration.h. 
Inside configuration.h, we'll do a search on motherboard, and we'll replace the board for the ramps by pasting over it. Then we need to set our serial port to negative one, and we need to search on the A4988, and we're working with the X stepper, so I'm gonna remove the comment so I can enable it. Then I'm gonna find the 5160, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna paste it right here. Then I'm gonna scroll down and show you something. For default access steps per unit, right now it says 80, but this is connected to another setting in configuration advanced. So what we're gonna to have to do is search on 800 here for a second. And this will bring us to our X stepper. So the 16 right here is proportional to the 80. So if you change this to 160, that means that you have to change this to 32. And if you change this to 320, you have to change this to 64. And so on and so forth, all the way up to 256. Now, the other thing that's different is the resistor sense. It's not 0.11, it's actually 0 0.075. And that should be able to help you get this moving. So we need to also set, while we're here, the software spy. So we need to remove the comment over here. And then there are other settings that you can set that have to do with uh, Stealth Chop or other things. I'm gonna leave that out and let you figure these out, but Hybrid Threshold is something that a lot of people like. But I'm gonna first go back to configuration.h and show you some stuff. So inside configuration.h, we have to worry about the inverting of the stepper possibly. So down here, we have Invert Direction. If your stepper that you recently install moves in the opposite direction of your end stop, then you'll flip the logic from either false to true or true to false, depending upon which direction your end stop is in. So now that we have that configured, we're going to go over and we're going to set the platform platform.io.ini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search on gtr underscore v and that'll bring us to the default environment that we need. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and for the default environment that was defaulted to the Mega 2560, I'm gonna paste our new environment. So I'm gonna do a clean before I actually do a build in case there's another build that was in here that might interfere. And that basically cleans out the .pio folder. Now I'm gonna actually do a compile because we can't do an upload in the case that we're in because the connection does not exist like the SKR version 1.4. So I'll show you how to deal with that in just a moment. But I'll show you the drive that came off the board while this is occurring. This is our firmware.cur. What we need to worry about is actually bringing in the firmware.bin or binary file. So as soon as our compilation is complete, we can copy that over. So it's just completed. So I'm gonna to go to the .pio folder, then the build folder, then Big Tree Tech, and I'm gonna right click on this and say reveal and explore. Then I'm gonna go one folder deep and the bin file is located right here. So I'm gonna right click on that and I'm gonna say send to the D drive. And that's where we'll have our firmware.bin. So I'm gonna remove the drive in a moment and I'm going to insert it back into the motherboard for the GTR version 1.0. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the drive out. I'm gonna place it in here and then I'm gonna show you what I forgot to actually connect before I connect the power. So I forgot to connect this right here, which is the stepper. And also I did not connect the cooling fins, but this is by design. The reason that I'm leaving it off is because I'm showing you a tutorial, but when you run 
your actual stepper. You should have your cooling fins on top and also use a cooling fan in case they get hot. So I'm gonna hook up this over here and I'm also gonna hook up the power now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into proner phase. So I'll bring this up for you in just a second. So inside proner phase, right now it says COM port one. So we're gonna have an issue there if we don't look up what the device manager says for the COM port. So we're gonna look at that real quick. So I'm gonna bring up device manager. And inside device manager, what we're gonna look at is the actual COM port that's connected and it's COM port 14. So I'm gonna close that down and I'm going to also change that to 14. Now I'm gonna connect. Now one of the steps that I did forget in the advanced configuration was to enable TMC underscore debug as well as uh, monitor driver status so that we could use a g-code of m122 to check the status but i'm pretty sure that it's correct so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and see what's going on with our steppers so in here what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it 10 and see what happens so it moves i'm going to move it back 10 and it moves perfectly fine now i don't have an end stop connected so I'm not able to show you that it homes, but uh, that is the point of me just showing you how to set up the stepper driver. So if you like my tutorial, please press the like button and subscribe. And for all the people that have been donating on PayPal or subscribing to um, Patreon or doing super chats, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. It helps me offset the costs of bringing you these tutorials. And everyone, take care and have a nice day.